Hi guys, Jared O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle Dagger Raiden. So it's a Saturday morning and I'm on a, a job for uh, the housing executive. I've had a contract. I don't work direct for them, it's for a um, subman, I'm a subcontractor. And uh, it's work I've been doing. I don't normally do videos on this type of work. But the reason why I'm doing this today is just to show you how difficult it is you know, working in these premises and, you know, you can't get perfection in them. And I'm doing this video also for, you know, um, you know, there's maintenance officers go around and inspect the work, not only for myself, for joiners and uh, plasters, plumbers and all this here. And we're working in properties maybe 50 year old that have been painted year after year after year from the tenants you know from firing paper on over paper over paper over paper uh, maybe 30 layers of paint on woodwork heavy brush marks heavy roller marks all this and what my job to do is it's called cot's and what we have to do is we go in uh, to, to get this ready for a new tenant and uh, so I get job orders from painting a full flat or a full house, uh, which would include stripping wallpaper, um, doing woodwork, uh, preparing walls, and to try and get them into a decent shape, you know. But sometimes you, you do be really annoyed whenever uh, a, a maintenance officer or a young guy goes around nitpicking, you know. And I can understand if there's obvious things that he would pull you up on. But I'll give you an example here. I had to come in the, uh, this weekend. This is a priority job, okay? And I'm going to show you what I'm up against. So these walls have all been stripped. So what I have to do, sand them, prepare them, and two coats of magnolia, okay? All the woodworks to get two coats of uh, satin. Ceilings, two coats of white, brilliant white. And... Uh, you know, and I'm going to show you what I have to try and do here, okay? So I'm going to show you this wall here, for example. Now, look at this here. This is an old uh, plaster board here. Look at this, right? And there's and nothing, you know, the paper's off it. It peels, you know. All you can do is try and sand it down and fill it as best you can. Same here, look at this, okay? Now, I've actually sanded that, but it keeps peeling. So the only thing that you can do is give it a sand, you coat it, you let the base coat dry, and then sand it the next day. And it normally tightens up. Okay, so there you are there. Now, I've put a base coat on here. Okay. Look at this. All this here. Right. Now, that'll all have to be filled tomorrow. All these here. You know. That's all of this, all this, that's all that old dry board. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Look at this. Okay, all this here. Now, as soon as the paint goes on, it lifts all the loose stuff. Even though I've sanded that wall, I have to, tomorrow when I come in, I have to sand this all down again. Fill it, recoat it. Okay, look at this. Out here. Look at this hall. Look, oh, that's all board. All out board, right? You know, and really what should be getting done here is these walls should, you know, uh, whenever you get these maintenance officers come in, you know, and nitpick with you, you know, what, what you really need to do is, look at that. And they'll come in, when I have these walls filled as best I can and sanded, they'll come in and go, God, those walls don't look great. And they don't realise the work we've put in, sanding, filling, you know, and you'll never get those perfect unless you replaster them. Look at that. You know, look at this wall here. All that old board. Right. Now, I've been doing this work for four years, you know, and, uh, you know, most of the times the maintenance of us are quite far. But at times, you know, jobs like this here, you know, there's very little you can do, you know, all that there. There's not a lot you can do. So I've just hauled it to get coated today so it'll be dry and sand it all down again tomorrow, you know. And out here, 
There's a wee porch. I guess it's just, this is a board, you know. Look at that, I have to paint that, try and make that look half decent. This room probably the best room out of them all, you know. Like, now if this was a private job, I would sand this all down, fill it and put lining paper on, you know. But those walls out there, you couldn't even do that. This wall's not too bad here. That wall's not bad, you know. And you can see, so I've got the hall to do. I have the hall to do this living room, a bedroom and uh, the front porch. So it's ceilings, walls, the woodwork. Now, as you know, all the videos I do, majority of my work's all private work. But there's another example. There's guys that do this work on sites in this type of work and have done it all, they've served their time doing this type of work. And they have not got a clue. You put them on their private job and they wonder why the customer doesn't have them back. You know, you pick up all the bad habits and whatever, you know, and, uh, you know, but again, I, I'm, it is a, it's a very good contract, I have to say, it really is, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, the first six months I started, I was walking away every day, you know, and then I just kind of got into a wee routine and, um, you know, it's work, I can't complain, you know. Um, so I do I do this on top of all my private work, but this is the first time I've really done a video on this, you know, uh, executive work, you know, um, y you know, and I have to say that is it really is hard going, you know, but again, just to let you see, you know, uh, it's hard work for painters too, you know, when you're when you're three in a job like this, and and then at, when you're finished, you have maintenance officers coming in and inspecting it and inspecting. You know, they, they know you they know you, you that you can't get perfection, but still the nitpick on, on walls like this is just ridiculous whenever you're trying your best, you know. Anyway guys, there's a wee short video for you. Uh hopefully uh, I'll get another video done soon. Um I have a load of private jobs on at the minute and uh I'm trying to finish up a couple of outside jobs as well, so uh maybe get a few more videos done at some point this week. Thanks for watching guys, bye.